Hi guys, welcome back to our great American empire that spans pretty much the world right now. It's it's kind of crazy. We have been expanding like mad. Last time we fought for Futa Jalon over here and ended up fighting France in the process, which is quite funny, but France didn't want anything from us. Same thing happened with Mexico when we fought... Um, Fort Mexico, Russia got involved, but they actually didn't want anything from us, so the war ended pretty pretty quickly. Um, we now span four out of the six mainland continents without Antarctica. Of course, we have con uh, we have areas in South America. Of course, we dominate Northern America. We have a lot of land in Africa, and now we are starting to spread into Oceania. The only two continents that we don't yet have land is Asia and Europe, sort of the old world continents, the old world dominant continents. Uh, but we are forging a way in the new world and trying to bring our people along with it, whoever they may be, whoever they may be as a multicultural nation. Of course, political instability has plagued us this whole through, whole playthrough. Uh, but hopefully we manage to... Uh, we managed to survive the political instability because our external uh, outlook is very strong. Of course, our literacy has gone down because of the amount of conquest we've been doing. Uh, but we need to start bringing that back up. And that's uh, partly uh, due to our bureaucracy being so low right now. We need to increase that. I also need to increase our authority uh, so that we can start boosting the... Uh, uh, intelligentsia up here, or either that or getting rid of the southern planters or the evangelicals. Either way, we want to kind of get rid of these guys. Oh, this is awesome. We have a, a black guy as the leader of the evangelicals in America in 1859. That is fantastic. That has is what uh, multiculturalism has done for all the marginalized cultures in our nation. We have finally started accepting everyone for who they are. Uh, unfortunately, it's on the wrong side. <laughs> the wrong side of the government. Uh, people that don't like us. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, we will bring them around or destroy them in the process uh, at some point. Uh, of course, the intelligentsia are the ones that we want to uh, want to improve the most with. We want the intelligentsia, pretty much the intelligentsia and the industrialists are the two uh, people that we want to improve really with. Uh, they want to join the Republican Party. So if I squish you on there, that actually brings up our legitimacy into contested government, which uh, removes the 25% radicals, which is fantastic. So let's take that. Definitely want that. And it brings the industrialists in. So that might open up a little bit more law capability over here. I don't want to go for laissez-faire just yet. Uh... None of this is anything we want to change. We could go for propertied women, but again, planters are going to be too upset. I could go for the poor laws, uh, but again, the planters will be upset. But that brings the trade unions up and the industrialists up quite significantly. Um, plus 40% welfare payments. I mean, the welfare payments won't be a huge amount anyway. Uh, yeah... Social social security institution. I mean, we're America, right? We ain't going to have no poor laws. Not yet. Not yet. We'll, we'll wait a little while to enact another law. At the minute, our stability is the main thing that we really want to focus on. Uh, and also expanding in Africa. So we can bring the evangelicals up. Uh, where are you? I mean, they're on minus six. We can just make them less happy. I mean, minus 10% interest in their group. Fantastic. Our colonization of Kanak is complete. Cool. Let's see whether we can incorporate that state as well. Um, we are just colonizing everywhere, like you can see. Which is great to see. Uh, we are going to be spreading far and wide. We might even start dominating New Zealand. Um, <laughs> and our crazy American Australians over here as well, which will be fantastic. We're now building railways. Okay, cool. Right, what is this? France versus... Oh, no. They want to puppet Benin. That's... That was going to be our land, France. But you know what? While they're doing that, it offers an opportunity... 
to conquer Oyo. Denmark over here. But does Oyo make sense? I mean, it does. Benin makes more sense. Sokoto makes more sense to me, honestly. Um, Sokoto is definitely the best, the biggest and most powerful nation in this region. How much infamy? That's 42 infamy from that. 42, guys. Um, whereas if we took, say we conquered the state, how much infamy is that? 13... There'll probably be about 15, all the rest of those, so 30, 45. Yeah, it definitely costs more to conquer the states. How much infamy for conquering Oyo? 17.5. I mean, Benin is such a good place. I really don't want France to gain it. I could join in on this side, but it really doesn't bring me much if I join in on their side. I prefer to use France's... Uh, current sort of uh, entanglement in diplomacy to really launch our own diplomatic mission here. And I'm thinking... I think just puppeting Sokoto is going to be it. It's it's a huge, huge nation in this area. It's really going to gonna, gonna uh, stop us from expanding this region to start with. But I think we've got we've to try it. We've got to try it. So let's go for puppeting Sokoto. Um, and yeah. Any other war goals? I could get war reps from them because that doesn't really make a difference to them. Do I want to conquer any of their states? No, because we've already taken so much infamy from this. I mean, North Cameroon. What even is in there? Just logging camps? Yeah, it's, it's definitely not worth it to try and take... So, we're going to go for the advanced front over there. We're also going to do the same thing here. We are colonizing so quickly, like we've said already. Quite far and wide. Um, and, yeah, you can see we've, we're starting to colonize over here. Kanak has now become a state. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to look at incorporating some states. So a load of these have already just been colonized straight away. Like, we've, <laughs> we've, we've just colonized them, like, straight away. Uh, I don't want any more decrees. Do I have any decrees? Let's have a look. No, consumption. Oh, but promote social mobility in Pennsylvania. Why? Now we can uh, bolster our support of the intelligentsia. I'd much prefer to do that. So... Let's do that. Bolster. It's going to cost 200. Great Britain sides. Great Britain and Denmark have sided with Sokoto. They want to liberate a place. Who can I sway? I can sway France. Hmm. I mean, Britain's not someone we want to tangle with, really, is it? Can't, they can't get to Sokoto, though. I'm going to offer ban slavery as... So, France is on a ban slavery mission right now, which is good. Uh, but let's see whether they sway. If they don't sway, we might back out. We might back out. Come on, France. I've offered you the ban slavery. If I... Add that as a war goal. Will you join now? Oh, did that just remove it as a thing? I, I thought you had to do that. Okay, no France. Thing is, though, like Denmark's not a problem. Britain might be. That's one issue. Britain has 90 divisions on the way. I think we go brave again. I mean, it's... It's not going to be too bad. I don't want to add any war goals against Britain. Because uh, we're not going to beat them. <laughs> we're not going to beat them, are we? So, I don't want to add any war goals against Britain. Let's uh, activate Alabama. Oh, Guinea. I didn't want to do that because they'll be trash troops. I also kind of do want to move to a professional army at some point. Rather than this conscript system. New York 62 troops there. 
18. I'm just going to activate a lot because this might turn out to be quite a large war. Ideally, I mean, the only thing is as long as we get our troops here against Sokoto, we should be fine. Denmark, though, as well, which is a bit annoying. I could add, add a goal against Denmark. Uh... Conquer State, yeah, Danish, Togo, which is there. That's actually our land, so that would be quite good. It's also Danish, Niger Delta. What else? Uh, I mean, this this bit of land here is fantastic for us. That British Gambia. Um, British Gambia, 19 infamy for that. Danish West Indies. Bro, where's that? Over here? Where? Denmark, where are you in the West Indies? What? I don't see them anywhere. Oh, look at Britain. Taking a chunk out of China. How much population is in that state, my friend? 2.43 million they have just added to their population by taking that. That is obscene. But oh well. Uh, Daniel Murray, you have no troops, so we're going to send you there. Uh, we have one person in there, and we have one. They have 90 on the way, though, still. I mean, it's... <laughs> Damage our relations. Spain, you are horrible. I also noticed that we should... Um, sorry, go into the diplomatic lens. And we should improve relations. Let's go with Brazil again. I do also really do want to improve relations with Britain. But we're going to be at war soon. So, probably cancel that. Let's go back for Spain, I guess. Do you know what would be a huge target for us? That, that that would be something massive. Would be taking Japan as a puppet. They are a fantastic puppet. Have so much population. Look at that. 8 million. And loads of buildings. And they're quite isolationist. Which isn't great. But we can open up their borders, etc. 91 British troops going to that little region there. Right then, let's get started. Let's see how our troops fare against Sokoto. Um, yeah, quite well. <laughs> it seems quite well. Yeah, let's uh, let's carry on with that, please. In offense, we seem a bit worse. Problem is here, if Britain break through this area, we're going to be screwed. Where's the 17? 17 of you there. That's not going to be necessary. Let's move you over here to defend against the 92 British troops. <laughs> Battalions. Come on, we need to beat... We need to get through Sokoto quickly so that we win this war. Come on, let's go. Let's do it. This is the most important thing, is beating Sokoto. hear what they have to say. Plus 50 popularity for trade unions. I'll take that. I don't mind the trade unions being quite popular. That allows us to get some more progressive laws in the future, like the poor laws and the private health, etc. Or public health insurance, should I say. Uh, we're now fifth worldwide economically. Fantastic. Building-wise, we are building... Government administrations, then railways, then dye plantations, coal mines, cotton... Livestock, logging. That cotton is not necessary anymore. Also, these ports need to be all done. So we've got market access in those places. Happy to take them. They don't take too long. 15 weeks for three all build, being built simultaneously. So it's only going to take 60 weeks to do uh, to do all those ports, which is not bad at all. Um, looks like Britain is beating us quite significantly, even though our defense is very good over here. Um but we'll be fine. We are beating back Sokoto, and that is the main thing. The problem we have here is that um, 
Britain has a, has a liberate uh, Cassus Belli against us. Right, well, this... This army... That's not an army, it's uh, one of those. I don't think we need you guys anymore over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them over here just to invade some of Britain's areas. How long is it going to take? 30 days to get there. Just so that we get a bit of a buffer against them conquering this state. Vacuum cleaning, that's fine. What technology were we... We're going for steel frame buildings, yeah. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to afford that <laughs> anytime soon. Uh, going to the steel frame buildings. But we, we'll have a look. Oh, looks like Sokoto is going to beat us in a battle. Nama have launched a native uprising against us. I don't know who that is. It's these guys. Okay, that's great. That means we can uh, take this whole region. What's the population like over here? 48k. I mean, it is pretty much the Nabib Desert. So, the oldest desert in the world, I believe, the Nabib Desert. Um, but, oh well. Yeah, looks like we are losing this one, unfortunately. I just We just need to hold out over here as much as we can. Oh wait, who is the one? Oh god, go away. You're on an advance over here. I want you to stop that. <laughs> Stop advancing. Just defend. <laughs> Just defend, bro. Defend. Once this battle's done. Okay, they've taken this. Oh, they've now gone up into the north area. That's perfect. That's exactly where we wanted them to go. Please, can you stop fighting this battle? Then we can defend. Colonization of the Solomon Islands is complete. So, let's defend. There, we'll keep advancing over this side. I don't think we're going to win this one. We need to have overwhelming numbers still a lot of the time. But once this guy has completed it over here, we can come down south, send this, that guy down there as well. Uh, the 15 troops that he has. That will be great. Specialized goods production. Done. Good. So he's still advancing, still advancing. That's impassable wasteland. Good. So he's there now. Where have you moved to? No, we don't want that. We want you on this front. Our troops take ages to get conscripted and move up here, don't they? 56 days it's going to take. Well, oh, we beat the we beat the Danish back. <laughs> That's one good thing. So now we have steel framed buildings. Unlocks the Eiffel Tower. I mean, oh, the Statue of Liberty, though. 75 prestige, 25% migration attraction, and 100 bureaucrats. Also, plus 20 urbanization level. I mean, uh, isn't that what. F I mean, France uh, gives us it. I mean, look at New York now. Look how developed and big we have expanded it. Um, it's just beautiful looking down here, isn't it? So, they're writing paper over there, apparently. Uh, we should have a lot of resources being built. They've got a lot of logging camps over here. When you zoom in, you can see farms. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it, looking at this map? Kind of mesmerizing, really, when you look at it. Quite mesmerizing. Um... But yeah, let's have a look down here. Where is the Statue of Liberty? There we are, Statue of Liberty. 1,000 construction. 659,000 predicted total cost. I, I, we're not going to queue that yet. <laughs> has a lot of... Um, has a lot of uh, a migration attraction, which is good, but not not something we need right now. More taxation capacity or 10% minting. I think 10% minting is going to be the next thing we want to go for. Uh, psychoanalysis as well, though, will be really good. Uh, Production-wise, uh, where was it? It was pneumatic tools. Well, that's 10 years. Now let's go for the rotary valve engine just to get ready to build that, uh, to research that whenever we can. Just so that we can research it whenever. 
Uh, it might swing back, this one. It looks like it will. Fantastic, we've won that. Good. Just defend over here. That's all we need. We just need you to defend these areas as much as possible. It looks like we are slightly winning in our war exhaustion fight, but it's close, and it's closer than we would have wanted. And Nama has broken out the fight. Oh, I, I really can't spare anyone. I don't want to buy another person, though. So Nama might get the, get the jump on us over here, because we don't actually have any troops in this region. We might have to do a naval invasion, then. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to do a naval invasion, but we'll, we'll leave that for now. This is a more important war. We really shouldn't lose against Nama. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. Uh, but we're going to have to do try and do a naval invasion. Wow, that's a big army that you're fighting there, sir. Camera has unlocked. It's fine. Come on, Sokoto. I need you to fall ASAP. And we're beating... We are defending reasonably well over here, which is great. And as I say, we've taken the uh, British areas down here in Africa. A lot of them, anyway. Some of the smaller areas, not necessarily. But the bigger areas we've taken. Oh, yeah. That was, a, that was a humiliating loss over there. Oh, we're just, we're just stacking our defenses quite well. We've lost that one. Looks like Sokoto might attack us again, but I, I would like to get the attack off if we can. Then we'll have to go and fight Nama, which we seem to be losing a lot of war enthusiasm for very quickly. Look at our cash. Takes an absolute dive now that we are fighting such a hard war and trying to import as much sort of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, as much ammunition, arms, and artillery as possible. Uh, how are we doing? Next battle is going to be six of us versus 17 of them. Come on, we need to win this still. Let's go. This is a huge war, this. This is huge. This is massive. Come on. Let's not swing it. Let's not let it swing. Got to break that morale. Good, good. <sighs> we just have better troops. That's what's going to swing us over here. And again, a great defensive effort. If we do manage to push them back from here and the Danish Niger Delta, uh, I will send these guys straight against Nama. Because we can't lose that war as well. And it looks like we're already losing it by quite a lot. Skoto is now on zero. We need to take their capital though, which I believe is Sokot over here. What's it called? Sorry. Houseland, but... Niger? Yeah, this capital state. Houseland. Gold depleted. A lot. We've had a lot of gold been depleted recently, which is quite sad. Okay, good defenses again, once again, against the British. High attrition now that we're in... Uh, we're far away from our supply lines. But this is going to look lovely. Nice blue Sokoto for us. I do like the American color on the map. It is quite nice. Yeah, get rid of the migration attraction. Progressive party? Let's have a look. Who is the progressive party? Okay, we have an illegi illegitimate government once again. And that's likely because of the industrialists. Uh, I mean, there's not that many pops in American Gambia. Oh, wait. So... So only seven. We've got the Socialist Party of America is the Evangelicals, not the trade unions. Are you joking me? So apparently it's the planters that... Uh, yeah. So it's more these guys who want to join the Progressive Party. So I'm thinking the trade unions, they don't add anything really. Look at the intelligentsia now, 15% clout, and I'm bolstering them. They were on 22 before. Really? All these guys want to join the Progressive Party, but it's still an illegitimate government. Um, I'm thinking then, we take the industrialists, 
just by themselves, and it takes it into contested government. And they're on there. Are they've kind of flipped with the intelligentsia? Oh well, everyone's unhappy. Everyone is literally unhappy. Ah, god damn it! I hate them. <laughs> There's literally nothing we can do. There's no laws that will just make everyone happy. Of course. I mean, private health insurance uh, just brings the industrialists happy. Wage subsidies. Evangelicals get plus 20 from that. Makes the industrialists and the evangelicals happy, and the southern planters even more unhappy. Uh, there's, there's really not much we can do here to, to try and tr uh, change our situation. And we have bigger things to worry about. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a revolution brewing very soon again. It would be great if we could push these guys back. Gold fields depleted again. Unfortunate. Another election. Wow, the progressive party is huge. So election's going to happen. Now we get the free reform. So that's the progressive party. They got the mandate. So we did just reform the government probably quite for nothing. Uh, but I guess that's... Yeah, and that's made most of these guys quite happy as well. Okay, the progressive part is massive. <laughs> but now we're suddenly a righteous government. And we should start getting some good loyalists from that. Laws-wise, that should give us lots of different options. Graduated taxation. I mean, proportional taxation? No. It kind of... Yeah. Very low and low. That does increase the amount that we get. 168k rather than 144k. It's only a 6% chance to enact. Restricted child labor makes the industrialist pretty upset. No. Uh, no migration controls, of course. Propertied women, very strong. Very unhappy for the southern planters and evangelicals. Obviously, we're not going to have serfdom back. Um... Yeah, multiculturalism, of course, is going to remain. I would love to t change this to a professional army, but no one likes that. Guaranteed liberties, I don't want to change that. I could go for public health insurance. Does make the industrialists a little bit unhappy, but I'm sure we're going to pass some laws in the future that will make the industrialists happy. So... Yeah, minus 5% mortality. Costs more bureaucracy, though, which we can't afford right now. Honestly, this is the best one. The industrialists turn neutral, and the planters get a bit more unhappy, but they've always been unhappy with us. So it's only a 6% chance, so there's no guarantee. But we're going to try it anyway. Let's see, how does this battle pan out? We are losing that one. Uh, and hopefully we get a good advance up here. We need to take their capital state. Ooh, losing this one. It's probably due to the huge amount of attrition. So, what I'm thinking is we will take... Okay, not you. We will take you. You're on standby. Going to have to do... Um, we don't have... Do we not have a nav, uh, an admiral? Go away. Oh, whoa. I didn't realize... You, didn't realize you could change the uh, angle there. Oh, that's cool. That sounds so dumb. I should have realized that, but... Don't know how I didn't. New England HQ. We'll command 24. We'll grab you. So you, my friend, we are going to do a naval invasion. Uh, for William Shubrick. Is that the one? Wait. I just put him on standby. Why has my army... Should be Rufus Cobb. Why will you not accept Rufus Cobb, my friend? 
I guess we'll take William Shubrick and we will uh, send you guys back to there. Uh, I'm so confused. What's going on here? Horatio Vincent, Ruth, Rufus Cobb. We've lost a general. Did I get rid of him? I, I don't... Oh, 69 battalions. Uh, you're meticulous. Yeah, I think we'll go for the meticulous guy. Uh, we'll take your battalions and defend over here. How long is it going to take you to get there? 60 days. That's not ideal, is it? Uh, and then William Shubrick is going to invade Namarkaland so that we... Uh, sorry, Nama. So that we don't lose that war against colonial power, which has happened before. Uh, it happened to France. Look at that money now. Oof. That's significant, isn't it? Uh, one thing, though. We should have done all our ports over here. So all these places should have market access now. Can I, only going to take 19 years. No Caledonian nickel, nickel plus 10% lead mines. Nice. Cool. And you should have market access. Good. 100% access to the American market. Uh, uh, when is that going? That is going to take... Oh, I hate that. Why does this? So when you try and scroll down here, if you get a new message, it resets all this. Don't reset that. Just leave it. They're two separate things. God damn it. Bro, look at that. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to have a look. All right, let's close off the interest groups for now so I can see that. Oh, look at it moving around so much. Yeah, advance the front there and we should win that quite easily. Go, go, go. 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 We need to go quick. We need to go really quick. And then over here, how are we doing? We're still making inroads. Of course, not so great anymore with the attrition. But unfortunately, we're just going to have to keep pushing. I'm sorry, men. I know it's going to be tough. But we're just going to have to keep pushing. And look at the Danish pushing in now. So, Elijah, you are here. We were defending well before as well until that, that whole thing just, was just kind of a bit of a mess up. 54 defense. Wow. That seems obscene for a uh, uncentralized nation. How would they have 54 defense? They have regular conscript troops. <laughs> so they're, un they're decentralized. They live in tribes, but they have uh, organized line infantry. Yep. Makes sense. Okay, we're going to win this one. That's fantastic. Come on. We need to get into Houseland so we can get them below zero. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with the extra 10% chance. And then we have proportional taxation. And that should really help us with our cash flow situation. Uh, where did you go, William? Oh, you've gone over here. To... What? Where are you advancing? I don't see the front here. Yeah, you should be on this front now then. Good. Right, that should that should save us from losing over this side. Which is good. And then Sokoto is now, because we've just, just dipped into their capital state, should now be going... Whoa, that, that was very quick. Should help our taxes. Yeah, looks like it does. Come on, keep pushing, guys. Keep pushing. This is so important. Uh, what do they... I mean... Yeah, we do accept that. Yeah. Okay, so Nama's gone. That's good. Uh, that means we can colonize over here now. Is there anywhere else we can colonize? I mean, we colonized Micronesia pretty much instantly. <laughs> which is kind of mad. 
And like getting to these these states over here. Yeah, we <laughs> we colonize them like instantly. Uh, Papua, we are just starting to take. Borgenville, we've colonized already. So let's have a look at our state actions again. See which states we can incorporate. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Sorry. It's only 15 bureaucracy. Yeah, it's not much bureaucracy because there's so little population over here. That's fine. Ah, God, I, they just... Okay, we need to beat Sokoto back. Come on, let's get it done. Let's get it done, guys. This is so tough. This is so tough. Wait, who's on the advance still? You. Yeah, make sure you defend this front. I do not want you attacking <laughs> into the British and the Danish. Oh, look at the numbers tumble on their battalions. They are falling. Oh, look at the amount of people we're killing. God damn it. This is brutal. This is a brutal war. We went for it. We sent it. We tried to send it. And I think... I mean, I think it's going to work. What do you guys think? I, I do think it's going to work. It's it's a tough... It's been a brutal battle so far for Sokoto. And we've lost a lot of money doing it. But it's... Is it going to pay off this much in the, in the long term? I don't know. <laughs> Looks like Benin... Never fought France, so maybe we didn't need to do this. <laughs> we could have also had France in this war. Okay, Sokoto has... Oh, that is that is glorious to see. Sokoto has capitulated. That means now... Where's our... Okay. You've gone over there to, to fill that out. I'm thinking... We have one of these guys over here. Where are you? I wish if you double clicked on that, it would show you which front they're assigned to. Okay, so we do have two guys on there. You. Uh, we'll probably change you to advance. And then you. I'm thinking we also change you to advance and see what happens. And see whether we, we do win. We might still lose these situations, but I don't know. Uh, so it looks like the rest of the peace deal did I not add any against Denmark? I guess not looks like they're happy to accept a white peace yep they didn't get any of those so oh glorious fantastic and we got lack of infrastructure here. Two out of 56. No. They should definitely have market access. Uh, Virginia of 95%. So. Again, we need another railway. I will just get. That's going to be built in 22 weeks. And then Nevada. It's got the railways. It just doesn't have people to hire them. So that's all it is. Uh. Isolated regions, American Botswana, which is down here. I mean, yeah, it's that's going to happen. South Cameroon is isolated? Really? Why are you isolated? You have a port, don't you? Shortage of clippers. Okay, cool. That's fine. Okay, so war is now over. <laughs> and we're still in minus 22,000 cash. Can't lose that authority. Yeah, don't have the migration attraction anymore. I think a lot of it is the expenditure of these government administrations. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely, I mean, we definitely can't move to steel frame buildings, can we? <laughs> Uh, that's definitely not going to happen. It's an extra 32,000. So I was sure that that proportional taxation, look. Current revenue, 195k. Predicted revenue, 168. 
So it's definitely got to be the better one. I don't know whether it's my the market's just trying to recover after the war or something. Yeah, grain has gone down a lot. Meat. A lot of food. Coal as well. So where are we up to now? More railways. And then we're getting some dye. Is that something we need? I mean, there's only a few dye. And they only take 14 weeks. So that's fine. Then we're looking at sulfur mines. Coal mines. Okay, coal. Yeah, we need coal. Then food. And then... Let's have a look at that cotton. Do we need more fabric? Uh, no. We absolutely do not need more fabric. Fabric. So these uh, cotton uh, plantations can be removed. I didn't mean to remove the livestock one, but oh well. Then we got livestock. Then we got logging. Then we got iron. That's all good. That's all good. Food is a real issue right now. That's gonna really hamper our standard of living if we don't get our food production up. So, let's have a look. It was grain, coal, meat, and groceries. Well, we won that war. Let's celebrate that. Um, oh, what's this? Revolutionary Orange. Oh, my God. Revolutionary Boas. Craziness. Okay. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy that. Oh, and look how quickly we've uh, colonized over here. It's obscenely fast. And there's nowhere else we want to colonize. We're pretty much just dominating the colonial game right now. Uh, France there is, is very annoying, as we've seen. But we're going to beat France back off that. So, yeah, they're going to go right there, though. That's a bit annoying. Because uh, I do want to block them off. Please try and block them off. It's so much better. Look at them snaking their little tendrils over here. At least we've blocked off the coast. But we need to block off here as well. Oh, look at... And Portugal's even having a go. God damn it, Portugal. Ah, now we're back to making a lot of money. Do you know what? We're making enough money. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's go. It's saying only 38... Okay, input good shortage of explosives and gas uh, and glass. So what I'm thinking is if we import those in. So let's look for explosives, French market, and then glass. Let's, I mean, we should probably build more explosives factories then. Just chemicals plants. And glass factories. Oh, looks like they are very productive. Probably because the world really needs explosives now. So, let's get that up. We've built a lot in Ohio recently. So, glass works, I'm thinking more like South Cameroon. Let's build 10 in South Cameroon. We truly have a global empire right now. We can build anywhere we want. And look, even with that extra construction... Yeah, we're now up to 146, so everywhere's getting full construction, and we're just building so quickly. We're building loads of places at the same time. Our construction is going to be increased by so much. GDP is going to come up. It's going to be fantastic. We still have a bureaucratic shortfall, which is a major, major issue. I do want to build that Statue of Liberty. Do you know what? Let's do it. Gold is just being depleted all across the world right now. Thinking we just build one in a lot of the places that don't have one. I'm not going to put them to the front just yet. Um, but that's fine. We are still incorporating a lot of these places. And it looks like it's going to take them ages to get incorporated. 14 years, yeah. That's already incorporated. That's taking time. Yeah, it's taking a lot of time to do that. And there we are. The money has come down eventually. But that's fine. That's fine. I'd rather have the construction and get richer uh, than I would have the lack, have the extra just cash. Because the cash doesn't really make that much difference. You can see coal is getting expensive, which is not good for industry. Fruit is getting expensive. 
What makes fruit on here? Banana plantations, of course. Uh, well, I guess banana plantations then. Fruit is 70% more than it should be. Tobacco is also expensive. We've got a few weird budget uh, problems over here. Luxury clothes are a bit of a problem. Rubber discovered in Gambia. Good, 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 good. We can build rubber now. Uh, forgot on, is it on resources? Why can we not build it? Maybe we have to reload this screen. Rubber. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think we need to build some more shipyards as well. It looks like we're running out of clippers. So, let's go for some shipyards in Salives. Five of them. We got the rotary valve engine. So, we could look now to go for pneumatic tools, which is great. We could also go for electric generation uh, and build power plants. I think we're... Are we a bit too early for that? Oh, here we are. Let's build... Let's go for the rubber first. Not going to take long to get that. Then we can build the rubber plantations. And how is our construction going then? Building the coal mines. Then we got food. Then we got livestock for the meat. Then we got wood because we had a lack of that. Then iron, which we had a lack of. And then we got chemical plants for the lack of explosives. Then we got glassworks, Statue of Liberty. Then the government administration. Then shipyards. I don't think it's going to take too long to get through all this building queue now that we've got so much building uh, capability. 150. Yeah, it's only 190 weeks, which is not that long. Three or four years. Yeah, get some more loyalists. What's going on down here? Britain's fighting Denmark now. Looks like they did not enjoy getting beaten by the US of A in that last war. <laughs> Oh, God. Poor Denmark. <laughs> Britain's like, you didn't help me. I kill you. <laughs> God damn it, Britain. That is just bullying. That is just bullying. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to end that today. That was a mega war. That was huge. And it seems like we've come out in a bit of a rocky place, but a better place than where we started. And that is the most important thing. Um... We are now down to 7th in rank, which is slightly scary. Uh, but our GDP keeps going up. We're number 5th now. Uh, Literacy is not great, but standard of living's plateau still. Population is just increasing hugely. Radicals have been going down. Loyalists have been going up. So that's great to see. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please like and subscribe. All that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I shall see you all again on the next video.